If you've ever been to the resort in Orlando, Florida, you know that Walt Disney World is virtually a small city. With four theme parks, two water parks, a downtown shopping district, and over 20 hotels. Each of the parks themselves can have tens of thousands of guests a day visiting, and with many of those visitors staying at one of the Disney resorts, it means they need a way to get around. While Disney offers everything from the iconic monorail to the brand new Skyliner, perhaps the most ubiquitous and far-reaching transportation system is their bus fleet. So how big is a bus system that has to serve what is practically a small city every day of the year? Well, the short and quick answer is that it takes a fleet of 400 buses to cover over 520 miles of bus routes. In the bigger picture, that's a bus network that rivals the St. Louis Metro Bus Transportation System. It makes the Disney World bus system the 52nd largest in the country, putting it above cities like New Orleans, Seattle, and its next door neighbor, Orlando. In fact, it's ranked as the third largest fleet in the state of Florida, behind Miami-Dade's 760 buses and Broward County Transit's 548 buses. Now, 52 is pretty far down the list, so if you're wondering how that compares to the bigger fleets in the country, consider for a moment the New York City bus system. With a fleet of 5,811, the New York City MTA's buses transport an average of 2.2 million people on any given weekday through 312 bus routes across over 16,000 bus stops. The next largest system after that is the New Jersey Transit Corp with 3,382 buses. And then taking third, there's the LA County MTA with 2,320 buses. Now, depending on how you measure a bus network, Disney's can be larger than their nearest counterpart, St. Louis. The St. Louis system sports 408 buses that cover 75 routes. The Disney World system has fewer buses with 400, but more routes. If you count every resort to park route there is, as well as the park to park routes, Disney Springs and Water Park routes, and the two internal bus systems at Fort Wilderness and the Caribbean Beach, there are 112 different bus routes utilized daily. That doesn't include the Disney's Magical Express buses, however, as those are a separate system that is run in partnership with Mears. It's also worth mentioning that not every hotel has a bus to every park. Some, like the Polynesian and Grand Floridian, connect to both the Magic Kingdom and Epcot via monorail, so they don't have buses that go there. Similarly, the Yacht and Beach Club resorts are just a five-minute walk from Epcot, so they don't offer buses to that park either. It's also worth mentioning that the number changes throughout the day. For instance, during peak hours, all three all-star resorts might get their own bus to each of the theme parks. But in the middle of the day, when there's less resort-to-park travel, one bus can stop at all three resorts before going to its respective park. So like any other large transit system, it adapts and changes to meet demand. When it comes to all of those bus routes, they average out at five miles in length with the low end being the Caribbean Beach to Hollywood Studios route at one mile, and the high end being the Animal Kingdom Lodge to Magic Kingdom route at 8.3 miles. Now, that many buses and routes must mean a lot of fuel. Disney unfortunately doesn't share that number publicly, but if we use St. Louis as a comparison, their fleet uses just shy of 5 million gallons of diesel a year and costs the city $15 million. In 2015, as a part of their continuing effort to reduce their environmental footprint, Disney switched their fleet over to something called R50 Fuel. It's considered a renewable diesel, which is similar to biodiesel in that it's made from cooking oils and non-consumable food wastes, but is still processed in a way that's similar to how traditional petroleum diesel is. That's important because it means that it can be used in a traditional diesel engine, meaning organizations like Disney or cities like Oakland in California, who also made the change in 2015, can switch fuels without having to upgrade or retrofit their entire bus fleet. Disney estimated that the switch to R50 fuel would cut their bus fleet's greenhouse emissions by 50%, and that the drop would mean an overall reduction in emissions at Disney World by 3.5%. As a side note, it's a change that was hailed by their VP of Animals, Science, and Environment, Dr. Jackie Ogden, which is a name that might be familiar to some of you if you've ever ridden Flight of Passage at the Animal Kingdom. 
The pre-show character was named after the real-life doctor. In any case, the Walt Disney World bus system is just one of the many elements of the resort that remind us of just how complex and far-reaching the vacation destination is. It truly does take the work and effort of a small city to turn the gears at Disney World, and it's another reason why the cast members are the most important part of making the magic.